Hi, I'm Professor E. Welcome to the robot program. In this episode, we'll show you how to use Blockly to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face. Let's meet DJ in the studio to learn how. This exercise can be performed with JD, Six, or Roly. As always, we want to start with a fully charged robot. Make sure to disconnect your robot before you get started. So remember to disconnect the battery. We're going to gently rock back and forth the charger and hold the plug rather than the wires. For this lesson, we're going to use JD. However, you can use any of the Revolution robots, JD, Six, or of course, Roly. E. To begin, let's load up Easy Builder. And we're going to say no to going to the Easy Robot School, so click Skip. Next, choose Example Projects. And we're going to use one of the bare projects, which means it's a lightweight version of the demo project for the robot. If you have a 6, load the 6 bare. If you have a Roll E, load the Roll E bare. And of course, we're going to use JD, so we're going to, in this example, load the JD bare. Say no to putting the robot together. And if you have a JD, it's going to ask you for a fine tune profile, in which case you're going to select it and say load. You're not going to get this for six or rolly users. The bare projects give us a nice simplified workspace to start from. Turn your robot on. Of course, you have JD, lie him down so that when he wakes up, he doesn't knock anything over or himself. Choose the network for your robot. Press the connect button in the software. Okay, now, so we're in the calibration position and we're ready to go. We are. Now we're going to choose project, add controls, choose the camera tab, and select camera device. What we've just done is added a new behavior to the robot, a camera behavior, so we can actually see what the robot's seeing through the camera. Now we're going to push the start button on the camera to connect to it. And you can see what the camera is seeing. Now for six and rolly users, you're not going to be able to do what we're going to show next. However, with JD, we're going to have him stand up. We're going to select stand from sit in the action here. And choose the execute button. Get JD to stand up on his own. Don't even have to pick him up. <laughs> That's right. So now that you got your robot or JD standing up, you can see through the camera. Say hi, Andreas. So remember, the camera is the type of computer peripheral. So this is what the robot is using to bring in information that we are then going to use in our program today. We're going to use the Blockly interface, which means select File, and under Workspaces, choose Blockly. We're using the Blockly programming interface, which allows you to program graphically rather than having to type commands. It makes it a lot easier so you don't make mistakes, specifically syntax and spelling mistakes. This is great, so we can visualize our program and then actually see what's happening when we're going through it. I'm going to choose the camera tab, and I'm going to scroll down and select wait for face. Next, I'm going to add the audio tab, and I'm going to choose say easy B, text, and add some text to the say easy B command. And we're going to type in, hello, I see you. Now we want the robot to wave, and that's a movement. So we're going to choose the movement tab and scroll down until you see auto position wait. And wait means do not pass this command until it has completed that particular action. And choose wave from the list. And there's our program. Okay, so we're going to wait for a face. We have the Easy B, so it's actually going to come out from the Easy B speaker, say, hello, I see you, and then our robot's going to wave. You ready to try it out? Let's see it. Okay. So why don't you step out of the camera view. Okay. I'll turn the camera around here, the robot, make sure everyone can see him, and I'll push the start button to start our script. Okay, he's ready. All right, so right now he sees nothing. He doesn't see a face. Hello, I see you. Hi, JD. That's excellent. Now let's do the same thing with six. Okay. Okay, so I got to get out of the way. Get out of the way. 
I'll put the robot six here and I'll click the start button. Now step in, put your face down. Hi, six. I see you too. That's great. Let's do the same thing with Roll E. And swap Roll E out. Hi, Roll E. Okay, his turn. So step out of the way and I'll turn Roll E around here. Make sure he's in the camera and I will push the start button. Okay, let's see how Roly responds when he sees you. Okay, hi, Roly. Hello, I see you. <laughs> That's excellent. In this episode, we showed you how to use Blockly to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face. We always want to start with a fully charged robot. Remember to disconnect before you power on. Connect to your robot using the Wi-Fi connection and the blue connect button in Easy Builder. You're going to load the Bear project for your robot. The Bear projects are a nice simplified workspace that allow you to add the controls that you need as you're coding. Once you open the Blockly workspace, you're ready to get started. Once in Blockly, you can use the gray side panel to select the actions that you want to put into your program. The first one that we used was wait for face. This tells the robot to wait and look at the information coming in from its camera until it sees a face. Then we decided to have the Easy B speaker say, hello, I see you. So we chose the command say Easy B and input the text that we wanted. You can put any text that you want inside of this command. After the robot says, hello, I see you, we then wanted it to wave and chose an auto position command from our actions. It says auto position wait, which means that the robot is going to execute the entire wave movement. So the program waits before executing any additional commands. You can execute your program by clicking on the green start button. If you want to see the code that was generated by your Blockly program, click on the blue button at the top that says code. This will show you the easy script that was generated. In a future episode, we'll show you how to actually make the program by coding your own easy script. We were able to watch JD, Six, and Rolly all wait for a face and then execute the wave command in this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Why is a camera a peripheral device? Which command was used to convert text to robot audio output? What does auto position wait mean? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.